This lesson was prepared by Josh Minich and narrated by Sam Jarrup as part of the National Science Foundation-supported Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom, Books. This lesson covers the topic of water quality index and is to be presented with conjunction with hands-on activities. Why should we monitor water quality? It is important to understand the quality of the water as the quality of the water directly impacts the organisms that inhabit it, as well as the people who use the water body for recreation and consumption. What causes water pollution? Human activities are responsible for the majority of issues facing this country's bodies of water. They can be from point source or non-point sources. The most common sources of pollution are industrial waste, wastewater treatment facilities, runoff from urban and farmland. What is the Water Quality Index, or WQI? It is a method used by researchers to determine how polluted a water body is using 9 to 12 environmental parameters and a weighting factor that differentiates between the more important and less important parameter. The numbers are then summed and the body of water is given a grade of 0 to 100, with 100 being the best. The parameters of interest in this lesson are pH, total alkalinity, conductivity, nitrate nitrite, phosphorus, dissolved oxygen, E. coli counts, and total suspended solids, or turbidity. pH is a measure of acidity along a log scale from 1 to 14. A pH below 7 is considered acidic, and above 7 is considered basic. A pH of 7 is considered neutral. Most aquatic organisms can survive in a pH range of 4 to 10, but most organisms prefer 6.5 to 8. Total alkalinity is related to pH. Alkalinity is related to pH because alkalinity is a measure of the buffering capacity of the water. This means that when an acid is added to the water, the alkalinity will buffer the effects of the acid and the pH will remain, remain stable. Alkalinity typically ranges between 20 and 200 parts per million in Ohio's waters. Conductivity measures how well an electrical current is passed through the water. It measures the amount of dissolved minerals and salts. Think of electrolytes in Gatorade. They are minerals and ions. Typically, conductivity levels range from 40 to 800 microsiemens per centimeter. Nitrogen occurs naturally, but is also used on farms as fertilizer. Nitrogen has three main forms, ammonia, nitrates, and nitrites. Nitrate is a nutrient used by phytoplankton. The phytoplankton cannot survive without nitrite. Ammonia levels are usually very low. We will not test for ammonia. Excess nitrogen leads to algal blooms and can cause human health issues. Phosphorus occurs naturally, but is also a main component in fertilizers used in farming. It is considered a limiting nutrient as its availability directly limits the amount of plant biomass that can be produced. Typically, phosphorus levels are below 0.01 milligrams per liter. The EPA requires that phosphate be limited to 0.1 mg per liter to prevent nuisance algal blooms. Dissolved oxygen is required by all aquatic organisms. Dissolved oxygen is not part of the H2O molecule, but rather is free-floating oxygen molecules that are dissolved in water. Most fish require at least 5 mg per liter of dissolved oxygen to survive. Some species of fish, such as gar and carp, require much less DO, but sensitive species like trout require at least 6 mg per liter of dissolved oxygen. E. coli is a fecal coliform that naturally exists. Only one type of E. coli is actually harmful to humans. E. coli is used as an indicator organism. That means if E. coli is present, then there is a possible that other harmful organisms may be present as well. High levels of E. coli signal human waste contamination in waterways. Total suspended solids, or TSS, measures how much solid material is suspended in the water. Turbidity measures the visibility of the water. Increases in TSS and turbidity indicate increased human activity in the watershed, such as construction and farming. We will continue this lesson by calculating water quality index score for a sample of water provided by your teacher. In this lab, we will measure six water quality parameters. Once you have experience using the WQI, Play the fish kill game as part of the virtual boat available at the App Store. This game will show you how different sources of pollution impact water quality index parameters along the Ohio River. Thank you very much.